Welcome to Master Mathematics in Minutes. Today's topic is about the perimeter of a trapezium. And we'll cover a couple of examples on how to calculate the perimeter of a trapezium. And we'll conclude the topic with a summary. And finally, be kind and subscribe for more videos. So what is a perimeter of a trapezium? The perimeter of a trapezium is the sum of all sides. We'll have a look at this visually. So this is the first trapezium with sides A, B, C and D. In the second example, we have another trapezium with sides A, B, C and D. So the perimeter P is given by A plus B plus C plus D. So a trapezium is where we have one pair of parallel side, A and C. These two lines are parallel. In the first example, we're asked to calculate the perimeter of the trapezium below. So we have a trapezium of sides 4, 5, 11 and 7 centimeters. And so the perimeter P is equal to 4, plus 5, plus 11, plus 7, and that is equals to 27 centimetres. In the second example, we're asked to calculate the perimeter of the trapezium below, with sites 17, 21, 25, and 27 centimetres. And so the perimeter P is equals to 17 plus 21, plus 25, plus 27, and that is 90 centimetres. In the third example, we're given the perimeter of the trapezium is 50 centimetres, and we're asked to find x. So visually, we have a trapezium of sides 10 centimetres, 12 centimetres, and 17 centimetres. And we're asked to find the side x. And so we have perimeter p is equals a plus b plus c plus d. And we'll set that to be equals to 50 from above. And we'll substitute a with 10, b with 12, c with 17, and d with x, which is that x. And we'll copy x, we'll copy 50, and we'll bring over the first three terms to the right hand side. And that becomes minus 10, minus 12, minus 17. And that simplifies x is equal to 11 centimetres. To summarise, the perimeter of a trapezium is the sum of all sides. And that is given by p is equal to a plus b plus c plus d. Thank you very much for watching. This is Master Mathematics in Minutes.